what's going on around the league. To do that, we're going to check in with my buddy, Mike Garofolo. All right, Garofolo, what's going on? What's the latest with the Cowboys and the contract talks with their triplets? Hello, Colleen. Our colleague, Jane Slater, uh, over night into this morning tweeted out that she is told that the Cowboys have top five offers for Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, and Amari Cooper, meaning top five at their position. Now for Dak Prescott, the, the fifth quarterback right now is Carson Wentz at $32 million. So if that's the accurate report that Jane is reporting, and we believe that it is, uh, then that would be north of $32 million, and he would, he would eclipse Carson Wentz. That's a pretty good offer if you're asking me and if I've been asking uh, objective folks around the league. They say, yeah, that, that's something that is in the realm of what should get done. Now, when you go to Amari Cooper, he's looking at Michael Thomas, who got north of $19 million per year, saying, well, if I get a top five offer, that's going to be around 16. No, I, I think I deserve to be closer to the top of the receiver market. Now, the running back market and Ezekiel Elliott, that's where it gets a little bit tricky because... There's a big gap between Todd Gurley at number one at $14 million in change and number five is around $8 million. I mean, the, the running back market, that is the issue with Zeke right now and with Melvin Gordon. These guys are seeing the top numbers on the market, but a lot of folks around the league are saying that Todd Gurley deal, that ruined it for the rest of us because every other running back thinks that he should be up there. But we really think that that deal itself was overpriced. All right, well... I guess we'll have to see where that offer uh, to Ezekiel Elliott stands, how close we are with all of them. Mike Garofolo keeping us up to date I, I, with Colleen, the latest I, news there. I, it, oh. I will tell you. If, if you would like to know, I will tell you I, everything that I I would love I've to heard, know. You have more? There tell you go. Me. Via, via sources uh, informed of the progress of talks is that the Cowboys have not eclipsed the offer for Todd Gurley. They're not over that 14 uh, point three million dollars, I believe it is, but they are right below it, and that's where a couple of other deals have slotted in, including Le'Veon Bell, who hit the free market. So the Cowboys are sitting there saying, "Well, the real top of the market shouldn't be this girly deal that the Rams might wind up regretting. It's actually a little bit south of that." Uh, Zeke, from my understanding, came into these negotiations with his agents, really wanting to blow that girly number away, and so that's why it seems like. There's a big distance here, but I think in the end, if the Cowboys can nudge it up just a little bit more and get to that girly number or maybe a little bit above it, I got to believe that that would get this thing done and that would get Zeke in here. So, you know, how far apart are they? It's really tough to, to, to measure the distance, but I, I see a gap that can be bridged just based on what I've been told where they are right now. Interesting. All right, Zeke, he's obviously a crucial part to that team in Dallas, just like you're a crucial part of our team, Garofolo. Well, we'll good. talk to you Give later. Thank you for that, that update. <laughs> That'd be great. We could split it, okay? Awesome. Yeah, uh, coming yeah. up here on Inside.